back to my channel everybody today is sunday and i am going to be giving you a word of encouragement from the lord something that god has placed on my heart and um, i hope that it will encourage and that it will bless you also um, if you are just tuning into my channel god bless you um, i hope you will um, subscribe and like the channel and share this video with somebody else that you feel needs to be encouraged and uplifted in the lord because they will surely be blessed. Well, today I'm not going to keep you all too long, but I just want to kind of talk about just growing, staying close, staying close to God and just examining ourselves and examining our faith and our trust in the Lord. So those are some things that I've just been talking to the Lord about and just been seeing coming up as I've been reading the book of Galatians, as, I, as I've been reading my daily Psalms. And right now I'm just going to read a verse from you from Psalms chapter 16. And it says, keep and protect me, O God, for in you I have placed my trust and I find refuge. I said to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good besides you. So I just wanted to encourage you today that if you to examine your faith to make sure that you are growing in character make sure that you are growing in the things of god that you are walking in the spirit that you are just setting yourself before the lord continually so that god will be able to counsel you so that as you read his word that you will be illuminated and that you will be lit up on the inside because the entrance of thy word give it light. That's what scripture tells us the word of God does for us. And that is that is the truth. The word of God is the truth. And any deception, any lies, any negativity, as you read the word of God, it will start to purge you and purify you and sanctify you and remove all of those, all of that, that dump that is sitting within your souls all those things that are hidden that are hitting in your heart that is not of god so continually set yourself before the lord and allow the lord to counsel you that's really what i want to say so just always examine yourself um continue to reflect on the choices and the decisions that you are making and bring all things before the lord because when you bring things before the lord and wait for the lord to answer you wait for the lord's approval you cannot fail you will not fail because it's God's spirit, the Holy Spirit now, who is going to lead and direct you and plant you in the right places. And also, another way that um, we can mature in the Lord and help to grow and build our faith is just to make sure that we are planted in the right places, that we are being surrounded by the right people, and that we are listening to the right voices. And we should be listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit. If you are planted in a in a church um, filled with the power of God and the and guided and they move in the power of the Holy Spirit your faith is going to continue to build because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So I want to encourage my brothers and sisters in Christ today. I want to encourage everybody that's going to watch this video that just continue to seek the Lord. Even if you feel like God is not answering your prayers, even if you feel like you are dry, God is going to revive your spirit. He knows that you are seeking him. He wants you to persevere. He wants you to continue to press in, continue to press in, continue to seek him. He says, when you seek, you shall find. When you knock, the door shall be open. So wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. And I want to end this here with this scripture. And it's coming from Psalm 16 and verses 11. It says, you will show me the path of life. So when we continue to set ourselves before the Lord, he shows us our path of life. And in the presence of the Lord is fullness of joy. In his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. So God keeps us lifted up in his right hand. Hold on to um, God's unchanging hand. Hallelujah. And he's going to support you a lot. He's going to support you. He's going to guide you. His word says it's right here. So let's pray this thing out. And let's let it let's pause and, and let's soak in everything that i said 
before the prayer that I'm about to pray and just let the Holy Spirit lead and guide you. So Father God, we thank you for this time of devotion. Lord, we thank you for being in our midst. Father, you are the Lord our God. You are our Savior and Father. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for another day of grace and mercy that you show towards us, Lord. Father, we thank you for being faithful when we are faithless. Father, we just surrender everything to you, God. Our thought lives, um, all the things, oh God, that just seem to weigh us down, Lord God. We just leave it all at your feet, Lord, and we ask that you would have your way, God, and that you, your perfect will would be done, Lord God, and that you will move upon every situation and every person's life that is watching this video today, God. Father, we ask that you would lead and guide us. We ask, oh God, that you would open our ears so that we would be able to hear your counsel. Father, we ask that you would give us the grace to apply your word, we pray, Father God, that as we continue to put our trust and our faith in you, God, that our faith will lead us to obedience, God. We thank you, O oh God, that you cause us to overcome and to triumph over all the situation, over all the plans of the enemy, God. Father, we tear down every plot, every scheme that the enemy has 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 for our lives, Father God. We bring everything to naught in the name of Jesus. We are blessed and we can never be cursed. We serve the most high God. You are the way, the truth, and the life. We thank you for being our way maker. We thank you for surrounding us with your glory, God. We ask, oh God, that whatever is, is um, pressing on the glory that you put on our life, God, that you will cause us to break forth like the noonday, God. And Father, I bless every household today, God. I bless their children, their grandchildren. I bless their finances, their marriages, their friendships, God. And whatever they stand in need of, God, I pray that you will open heavens over them, Lord God, and that you will release those blessings to them today, Father. In the name of Jesus, I bless your people, God. And we thank you for this time of devotion, God. We thank you for being in the midst of us, God. Have your way, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So be blessed, be encouraged, go out and have a good week. Keep your head up because you are not defeated. You are the head and you are not the tail. You are above and not be beneath. And may God's grace be gracious upon you. May he make his face to shine upon you. May God give you his shalom. May you have the countenance of God all about you when you're out and about. May the glory of God surround you and your household. I love you with the love of Christ. Be blessed. Share, subscribe, like this video. It helps with the algorithm so that others will be able to see this video all around the world so that they can be blessed, encouraged, and know that Jesus loves them. God loves you. No matter what, nothing can separate you from the love of God. God loves you. I see you next Sunday.